Hey folks, welcome back to Horsepin Ranch and Horsepin Ranch YouTube channel. We got the chuck wagon out on an awesome day and we're gonna make a pecan cobbler. You don't wanna miss this one, stay tuned. Okay, folks. Hey, welcome back. We're glad to, that you're with us today. We're going to make a, a pecan cobbler. This is an awesome recipe. Uh, it's something you can have year round. You can have this thing for barbecues, for uh, summer cookouts, and spring cookouts. Of course, Thanksgiving, Christmas. You can have these things. This thing year round it pairs real good with barbecue. So we're going to make a pecan cobbler. We're going to start with some self-rising flour, and I've got some uh, King Arthur. I don't really stick with any certain brand of flour. Uh, I would just recommend. Um, a good, don't buy generic, buy a good one. I use gold metal, I use King Arthur, I use White Lily. So there's a cup. We're going to do a cup and a half of self rising flour. You know, self rising flour is this flour that's already got the salt and the uh, baking powder in it. So it's just kind of a, it's kind of, I use it sometimes. There's a cup and a half of that. We're going to use a cup and a half of just white sugar. So that's a half. So we're going to do three of them. One, two and three all right so we're going to let that set and we're going to add our pecans we're going to do two cups we're going to do a little over two cups of pecans what we're going to do these are just not just regular pecans kind of halves and pieces i've got a stick of butter melted in that cast iron it's hot cast iron i've got a stick of just just a good old stick of butter melted in there we're going to do this with about one, two. That was not very good. Two. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do half. You can't have two. It's, it is a pecan cobbler. So we're gonna spread that down the bottom. Look at that right there. Of course, we're on the hillside, so everything's kind of messed up with that. We'll cover the bottom good. So maybe two and three quarter cups. Whatever you want. We'll be good with that okay so i got my dry ingredients here trying to blow out on me i'm gonna mix my sugar up and my flour good together it's a windy day here in oklahoma we're going to add a little bit of uh vanilla and we're going to add two-thirds cup of milk i'm going to put that in there about a teaspoon in there or so of vanilla and we're just going to pour that in there just like so all over two-thirds cup of milk so this recipe calls for uh, a nine by 13 casserole dish, or you can use a 12 inch Dutch oven. We're using a 12 inch shallow oven today. You can use a deep if you'd like, and I'm getting that everywhere. It's all right. So we're making kind of a batter here, as you can see, so with a two thirds cup of milk, about a teaspoon of, of um, vanilla, one and a half cup of self-rising flour and one and a half cups of sugar. So there you are. Oop, I just bent my good little mixer thingy. It must not be a very good one. So we're gonna get that off there best we can. We don't need it anymore. Gotta do some repair work on that. We'll set that aside right there, out of the way. We don't need it anymore. Okay, now we're gonna put this directly on top are pecans I know some of you folks say pecans I say pecans but it's okay it's okay to say pecans if you'd like so there you go so understand from here on out we're not gonna mix any of this stuff up we're just gonna kind of lay on top we want this to be layered right so kind of do your best to kind of do this with it you can spread it a little bit make it even it don't got to be perfect Get on the side there a little bit, that's all right. So again, you can use a nine by 13 casserole dish or you can use a 12 inch Dutch oven. Just like so guys, that easy, that simple. Okay, now we're gonna take and we're gonna just kind of slowly, gently spread this out a little bit without rustling up our pecans too much. Kind of spread it out a little bit, like so. Got the butter in there. 
got the pecans in there so that's a, probably about good just like so it's not all the way to the edge but it's close enough so there you go beautiful now we're going to put about a cup and a half of make a mess here move that out of the way of light brown sugar and we're going to cut that right on top about a cup and a half of light brown sugar is it a cup or a cup and a half where's my cheese sheet at it's a cup and a half where's my cup at there's my cup right there so we're going to do this right here we're trying not to make a mess here we're going to do it over this because i do miss it pack it in there good you know you got to pack brown sugar it's like to be loose so that's good enough for that one and so again we're just going to sprinkle this over the top I get it in your hand and just kind of sprinkle it over the top real good like so again we're not going to mix this okay we're just going to sprinkle the top and then we want about another half a cup don't got to be perfect it's a cobbler I think we'll pack that down to about half a cup yeah that's good enough so put it in your hand and just kind of sprinkle it all over there even it out best you can and guys, that is your cobbler, because we're going to be done once we add one and a half cups of hot water from your spout. And that's it. We're going to slowly, there's the trick right here. So we got all that goodness in there. We're going to slowly add this hot water in there. And it's going to make an amazing crust. Go cook it at about 350-ish in your inside. And just some good old coals on top out here. That's it. I'm gonna put a lid on it and go let the magic happen. I'm gonna load the top up with some coals. Put some more around the bottom because they kind of ashed out a little bit with the wind. Again, we're shooting for about 350, 375. You go about 30 five to 40 minutes just want to get that crust to rise to the top and have you some pecan cobbler again the recipe will be in the bottom description so you guys stay tuned we'll check this in about 15 minutes and we'll rotate that oven so don't go nowhere Okay, guys, we're going to check it out. It's been about 15 minutes. We're probably cooking real good, and we are. Sides look like they're getting good. It's getting caramelized, getting brown. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off the bottom coals, but that bottom's good enough. We're just going to let it sit on the ground and finish cooking right there. Hey, it's done. Just took it out about 15 minutes, probably a little less than that. So about a 30-minute cook out here. Sometimes we cook a little faster out here. But it turned out really good. I already dished me some up. We're going to let it cool a little bit so you can see the consistency of it. It's got a good crust on it. You can see in here, good crust and um, a good uh, that, that pecan pie kind of syrupy stuff in there. It'd be really good if I had some homemade ice cream, but I don't, so I have to just do without it. So I want to try the bite. We've got to have the, the taste test. There it is right there. Mmm. Wow, it's still warm. Mm. So, so good. So good. I didn't know about that, but I'll wait. So good. So, guys, try this recipe. Again, I promise you, you'll love it all times of year. Uh, be good for Thanksgiving, of course, and Christmas. We always think about that's when we eat pecan stuff, right? It's Thanksgiving and Christmas. You can have it all year round. Uh, make some homemade ice cream this summer with it. Mix some um, good whipping cream up with it. Put it on top. Mm so good thank you so much for watching horse Pen ranch youtube channel uh we really appreciate it we don't take it for granted like this video share it with your friends tell somebody about our channel we'd really appreciate it until next time we'll see you on horse Pen ranch